our monthly budget on accommodations is $1,000 or $250 a week. So let's go take a look at what that gets you in Cuenca, Ecuador. We are Wyatt and Lindsay. For the past six months, we have been living and traveling through Latin America. Last week, we took you all on a five-day trek through the Andes Mountains. After completing the Kilatoa Loop, we moved to the city of Cuenca, where we will be exploring today. This place is adorable. My favorite thing about this kitchen has to be all of these dishes. One of my biggest Airbnb pet peeves is when there's only like two plates, one cup, and three forks. This place does not have that. It has everything you need to actually live in the space. There's also a blender, a grilled cheese maker, a stove top, and this beautiful window to the outside so you can look out at this gorgeous courtyard while you're cooking. Also in the kitchen space, we have a cute little desk, a dining table, and a couch. Over this way, we have the bedroom area as well as the bathroom. This is one of my favorite beds we've had in any Airbnb. It's super comfortable, two pillows each. I'm a two pillow sleeper. And the first couple nights we were here, it literally just smelled like clean laundry. Right in front of the bed is a smart TV, which has been awesome for our chillin' days. There's cubbies under here to put our gear bags in and a big closet for all of our clothes. Through here is the bathroom. It is very small, but also very nice. And the shower is really hot for a really long time. What I think is the actual nicest part of this Airbnb is the hosts. This is really just a guest house on their actual house. So we see them relatively often and they both are such kind, warm, sweet people. So sweet in fact that the wife knocked on our kitchen window the other day to bring us fresh homemade hot chocolate. I've never had anything like that in any Airbnb we've stayed in. You know how much the Airbnb costs. Let's take you through the rest of the expenditures while here in Cuenca. We're downtown, we're gonna hit some sites and we'll run you through the cost of those. The first stop of the day is right behind me. It is the Cathedral of Immaculate Conception. This is an absolutely massive cathedral that began construction in the 1880s. And at that time, this could hold the entire city of Cuenca. We've come out of the cathedral and around the corner into this little alleyway, and here is a separate entrance where you can actually go in, pay $2 each to walk up a spiral staircase and go on the roof. We made it. There's room. As you can see, the views of Cuenca and the Central Park in front of the cathedral are spectacular from up here on the roof. Something I really love about these central parks and squares in Latin America is that they're actually always really busy. Like, lots of people come to them. But I feel like at home in Canada, places like this are really, like, underutilized. Now we're gonna walk over to the Central Market but we're not getting fruits, vegetables, or any other kind of food there. We're actually after a unique experience. It took us a little while to find exactly what we were looking for in the market, but eventually we came across this little booth. What's happening here is Olympia, a traditional Ecuadorian cleansing treatment meant to balance one's energies. The healer is using a combination of medicinal herbs to clean the bad energy and an egg to absorb and show any maladies. Gracias, senora. <laughs> How do you feel? Dizzy. <laughs> you feel dizzy? How do you feel? Really good, actually. <laughs> Very good. 
The cost of this unique experience is five U.S. dollars per person. So after our cleansing, we've come to a restaurant for lunch. In Ecuador, there's a tradition here of almuerzo. Almuerzo is basically just the Spanish word for lunch, but here it means a fixed daily menu where you get a juice, a soup, a main course, and sometimes dessert. However, as you guys know, we don't eat meat. So we've come specifically to this restaurant to get a vegetarian version of almuerzo. and not knowing what you're gonna get. Like we just sat down, she said almuerzos, we said see, and then stuff shows up. Go time, girl. Sheesh! <laughs> it's falafel! <laughs> I love falafel. <laughs> It looks like a gigantic olive. I've determined that it must be a fig. Looks like soaked in some sort of syrup. The cost of our three course plus drink vegetarian almuerzo was four dollars and fifty cents per person. Now we've come to this gorgeous little flower market. There's stalls everywhere selling fresh cut flowers, potted plants, cacti, and there's something really cool here that I read about in a blog that I'm really keen on trying. So sold out of a little window in the flower shop is this beverage right here called Agua de Pitamas. Basically, it is water mixed with dozens of flowers and herbs made by nuns who live in the monastery right there. It's a secret recipe and locals consider it to be a cure-all for everything from insomnia to anxiety. Oh, what? Really? You don't, you don't like it? It's definitely filled with flowers. <laughs> As I got it close to me, I literally went, what the hell's that smell? And then I realized it was the drink. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Not sure? I'll drink it because it's supposed to cure stuff, but I don't know. <laughs> Before leaving the flower market, I bought myself an individual sunflower for $1. Uh, look how cute. <laughs> Just got out of the cab, it was $5, and you guys gotta see this. We have come to, I'm not even sure what. It's a beautiful piece of the town with a bunch of fancy restaurants covered in glass overlooking Cuenca. As you can probably tell from this video, Cuenca is a pretty affordable travel destination. Ecuador as a whole is as well. And it's definitely somewhere that I would recommend you guys to visit if you are planning on going on a trip and you don't really know where you want to go, but you want to see beautiful nature, gorgeous city, and have some really cool adventures. I think Ecuador is amazing for all of that. Look at this view. Seems as though we're here now. Two dollars each to get in, and a bunch of stuff. Not even exactly sure what we're gonna find at the top. It's like a swing that's just like attached to some trees, and it looks like the sketchiest thing I've ever seen, and I really don't want to do it. You were terrified. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Lindsay was just about to do the zip line or the swing and she bailed out of fear. Come on, Lindsay. It's so sketchy, I can't do it. You go, you go, you go. Right. <laughs> this is crazy. Where do I hold? Hold, this, hold here? Holy yes. All right, Just three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, you gotta do this. It's the coolest. <laughs> You're crushing it, babe. That was unreal. Look at the view. I was really nervous about doing the cleansing today, and Lindsay went first for that. So she said, if you go first, I'll consider doing it. I think Lindsay's up next. <laughs> Here's the face freedom wears. Here's the face freedom wears. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> YNL vlogs are made possible because of support on Patreon. Subscribe to our Patreon today and get access to tons of exclusive content, including personalized postcards, deleted scenes, and entire vlogs that we haven't released to the public. How do you feel? I was like shaking. I was so scared at first. Yeah. <laughs> It was $2 to actually enter the park per person. And then inside the park, there's restaurants and activities. And the activities are not included in the entry fee. So it was $2 to get in and then $3 to do the swing. The grand total of everything we spent today from this morning up until now has been $40.50 for the two of us. An incredible time was had. It's going to wrap on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you all next week in Bolivia. Press the playlist on screen right now to watch all of our travel vlogs from the very beginning.